Hey, this is Matias Renga with Guitar Control, and today you're going to be learning how to play IDGAF or I Don't Give a Fuck by Dua Lipa. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and remember to click on the link in the description to get the tab. Let's get down to it. All right, so we're going to start off by playing this at a very slow speed. Okay, so we have two things here. We have the chords and the arpeggio. So for the chords, let's put it down in a very, very basic uh, chord progression. So the first chord is an E minor. Then it goes into a D major. Then it goes into a G and into a C. And again to the E minor. Again into the D major. Then it goes into the B minor and then into the C. So now, that's not the exact chords that I'm playing and, and that the, they're playing on the recording, of course, but so you get an idea, in case also, in case you want to just totally skip the arpeggio and just play it, you know, like... You can totally do that. But anyway, so back to this. We're going to be using this E minor, E minor, okay? So for this E minor, we're not going to be using all the notes, but I think it's very useful if you know the actual full chord as opposed to just learning this small position that the small amount of notes that they are using in, in this arpeggio. So the full chord, it starts on the seventh chord on the seventh fret of the fifth string. And if you don't know it, then it goes into the ninth fret of the fourth string, ninth fret of the third string, eighth fret of the second string, and then the index finger is covering once again the seventh fret of the first string. Just like that. Very simple. So that's your E minor. You can take it two steps down, two half steps down, and that's an E minor, D minor. Two half step down, and that's a C minor. Anyway, so from here, you're going to go into this one. To this one, sorry. To the D major. So for the D major, you're gonna be playing, it's actually, it's very useful if you see it, if you see these chords, how they relate to each other. So actually the D major is actually, it will be the same as this one that we just played here, but two half steps down, right? And all you have to do is raise this middle finger right there that it's playing um, the second string. We'll have to go one step up, one half step up, but that'll be awkward, right? If you put it half step up. It's hard to play. So what we do, we just switch the fingers. So this one goes up and these two go uh, one string down. But it's important that you know the relation between them, right? So it's like we learned this one and we learned that this one right here is the same, except that the middle goes up. All right, there you go. And then you just take the same shape to the 10th fret. And then you take it to the third fret. Then the same. And the only thing that changes here is that now we take back the first original minor um, shape and we put it here on the second fret and then the major shape on the third fret. Now, those are the chords that we're using. For the specific arpeggio, we're, gonna, we're only actually going to be using the fifth, fourth, and second string. Just like that, see? So now, let's talk about the technique. Um, what I'm doing here with the with the pick, I am playing pick because um, this song has a little bit of a muted sound. So you want to be muting this muting with this part of your hand. You want to be muting the strings. Just put it there. You don't want a full mute, right? You want a little bit of mute, so you put it near the bridge. Where it, get, it gives the sound, right? And it's it's also like a half mute sound because uh, the fifth and the fourth string are muted, but not the second string. The second string is like kind of muted. So you play with a pick. 
-hmm. It's going to be really hard if you don't do it with the pick. So you play with the pick, the fifth string, the fourth string, and then with your middle finger, you play the second string while muting. And then you come down like this. Right? And then you do the same on the on the fifth fret major D major chord. So then you take that up to the tenth fret to the third fret. Right? So what I want you to do, I want you to practice the first chord just like that. Once again, fifth string, fourth string, second string, and then bring down the hand. Just like that. And now once you have the, the rhythm that is a da 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 you got that rhythm. All you gotta do is follow this finger. This is gonna be your lead right there, okay? Follow that finger. So you know that this finger is on the 7th fret, then you know that it's on the 5th fret, and you do the same. Now you know that it's going into a 10th fret, and now into the 3rd fret. Then the same thing, once again. 7th fret, 5th fret, and now we go into the B minor, 2nd fret. Now it's important that you understand and see the when you're playing, this is important that you're thinking about the position of this finger and the quality of the chord. So you know that is minor, major, major, major. So it's like divided in blocks. You have one minor and three majors. Then you have one minor, a major, one minor chord, and another major chord. Okay, so it's minor, three major, minor, major, major, major. Okay, so divided into blocks. It's super important, it's gonna help you a lot. So you got the first block, minor, major, 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 minor, major, minor, major, there you go. And there you have it, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and now you're able to play this awesome song by Dua Lipa. As usual, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons. And don't forget to click on the link in the description to get the tab. Also, I would love to know what's your favorite pop song to play on guitar. Leave your answer down below as a comment. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to get better at guitar, click on any of these videos on the screen for awesome guitar lessons.